Hi everyone, welcome to our Chaos App Ecosystem Working Group call. Today is October 4, 2021. We just had a little coordinating chat before we started the recording about upcoming dates. So today is October 4, next meeting would be on October 18, which is overlapping with all things open. So we are canceling the next regular call. And then we have November 15 and we have one more on November 1st and November 15 are the next two calls. And then we're gonna take a hiatus until uh, January 13, the first meeting in the new year. So that's just for the record. For today, our goal is to finish the revision of our event organizer slide deck. And we'll work on that today. I'll put it in the chat. And yeah, that's where we left off last time. Uh, you see everything is now in the chaos slide template. So I did that since our last meeting. And let's see other actions items we had. I was putting the slides in chaos style. That's done. Perry was adding numbering to the goals questions metric. I think that's also done. And then Neo, you wanted to work on the introduction slides. It looks like there's also some good content there. Yeah, I added some and then I added a bit in the last slide, the goal for common uh, description. So yeah, we can improve on that now if you want. I like it. Do we still need slide number? Here, I'll, I can share my screen for the for anyone who watches this later. Can you all see the slide deck that I'm sharing? No, we see the no, see your matrix chat. channel. Yeah. No. Okay. Then I will stop sharing and select a different screen. <laughs> yes. That's it. Yeah. All right. Um, all right, let's see. We have the opening slide. This was just an outline of what we wanted to include. Do we still need this, Neil? Slide number two. I think I've included most of that in the following ones, if you are okay with that. Awesome. All right, I like this introduction. It's mostly borrowed from the, you know, the um, open source article we already published, but with some edits to make it much better here. Yeah. I think that looks really good. Okay, and then we have an overview of the slide deck with the four goals. I'm just going to add underline here to see if this provides more of a structure. Yeah. 
And then we go into goal one, retaining and attracting contributors. Last time we worked on the description. So we can do this where we go together together or we can um, have like 10 minutes of quietly everyone goes through it by themselves and we collect notes and comments and then get back together in 10 minutes. That's what we usually do with chaos metrics in the other working groups where we just say, oh, here's 10 minutes of working and then of course we can talk if something comes up or there's a question, but it paralyzes the work where we can divide and conquer better than if we go at the at my speed. So then I'm going to stop sharing. If I don't hear any objections, I'm going to mute myself. And we can all go through the slides and improve them. And if we spot something that needs improving, and you have questions about it, just yeah, speak up or just go in and just edit it. Sure. Let's go. Let's go. 10 minutes. Um, so that I noticed the, the font sizes on each of the slides are different. Is there like a particular font size that would be used throughout or just double check? I don't think there is a... The Google Slides like dynamically like when you type more stuff, rather than having it overflow, it like shrinks the font. It's just like, it it's just like auto font. Up. It's a Google thing. But there might be a way to kind of override that, but that yeah. might be worth, you know. For... I, PowerPoint does the same thing. Does it, okay. It's a presentation slide um, feature. The, question then is if we have so much on a slide that it needs to reduce the font size maybe we can cut it back remove how much is on the slide or do we make everything smaller yeah it's interesting because um the slide deck is um i feel like something that we're using as our just the slide deck itself is the mechanism for delivering information, which means it should kind of be information dense, yeah. as opposed to if I were really making a deck to present stuff, like I have much less, I, uh, my speaking conveys the information. The slide deck is a, you know, a short kind of accompaniment. So. So Perry, I think you have a, have a good point because it doesn't look really good sometimes having on 20, 21, 18, 17, we're all over the place. Maybe you should choose a smaller font size and then yeah. just have that be consistent everywhere. So if that is something you would like to do during the next 10 minutes, we can, I'd appreciate that. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Awesome. So thank you, Perry. You already have the improving the font size improvement. Excellent.
How are you all doing? Still at question two. <laughs> so midway there, but yeah, I I did not have enough time to read through all of it either. So I skimmed through again. Yeah, I did an initial <clears throat> like skim and read the uh, intros and then went back through to actually go through the, the questions and stuff. So I made a couple of like just pretty small grammar corrections. Awesome. Shall we take another five minutes to continue going through the questions? Yes. All right. The, um, the top margin bounces around sometimes. Like where the, the for the question slides. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if there's an easy way to set those all the same thing or if it's like a hand tweak manual. I'm not a slide deck uh, expert. Yeah, it would have some numbering starting from slide 18 on the bottom right. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. So there oh. is. Oh, that's okay. Sorry. Yeah, what's what did you discover, Sean? No, the, the slide numbering is that that is numbered though within a within a goal. I just noticed that. I didn't even see that before. Yeah, it looks like it's numbered within a goal. Okay. I'm gonna remove the numbers. All right. Because they're not helpful. And then for the formatting, the, the reason the it, it changes at the top is because sometimes you have two, sometimes you have three lines and it's based on the bottom. And so if we need three, it just uses more space at the top for the heading. That's, I think, what's going on. Yeah. I think there's a couple of cases where between 25 and 26, I feel like it doesn't need to be pushed, but maybe it like, maybe it got pushed because stuff was typed and then stuff was deleted and it didn't unpush. 
Um, probably nobody's going to notice unless they're doing this exercise of spending 15 minutes um, quietly critiquing a deck. Yeah, you're right. It, it jumps around. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit the theme and then reapply it to all slides. The theme looks really nice, by the way. I really like that. And I like that backdrop on the, the cover slide. It's a, some nice visual elements here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Interesting. So if it's all messed up now, then that was all my doing. Now when you tap through, it, it's much more consistent. So that's good. Somewhat more consistent. Yeah, the goals have been moved down though. The slides of the goals need some realignment. Yeah. Yeah, and then we have some text overlapping on like slide seven. Okay. Before you before you change anything, let me make some modifications here. This is Okay, so let's see if this is better. Yeah, I think the headings issue and where the body starts and all that is much better now. helps to have a template. Yeah. I'm just gonna, um, <clears throat> the very final, the credit slide, uh, the last link is kind of going into the, um, the chaos text at the bottom. Should be pretty easy to just slide that out, yeah.
All right, what, what else needs to be done before we can release this? I think it looks good. Uh, what's our <clears throat> releasing process? Are we just sharing? I mean, is this a, sh will we just share the Google Doc link and hopefully it's only editable by us? Hmm. Or export to PDF? It is editable by anyone with the link. So we are sharing it really big. Um, so we should probably not share that link then to the world. So yeah, we can create or it'll a end up on Reddit and somebody will come draw inappropriate pictures all over our slide deck. You know it'll happen. Um, I have not had that experience, luckily. <laughs> okay, good. But yeah, I'm I'm happy to just uh, create a PDF and put that on our repository. Great. And share share that. So. I'm just typing in the notes. Okay. Releasing the new slide deck. So then the question is, how do we want to share this? How do we want to advertise this and let people know that, hey, here is the revision. It's all awesome and fantastic and new and improved. There's a chaos Twitter, yeah? Yeah. Seems like one. And I would retweet that, of course. So chaos Twitter, we have the chaos blog. We have chaos uh, Slack. We have chaos mailing list. Do we want to more broadly share it with others? I was thinking maybe we can share it with uh, Angela Brown from the Linux Foundation events team. I had a conversation with her last week and it sounded like she was kind of sort of interested in this kind of stuff. So action item Georg share Angela Brown. Who else do we need to share this with? I think we should um um drop a note to the you know we had people from like the event staff from from uh, Guadic and Academy came and joined us on a couple of meetings yeah, and gave us some feedback. Right? Yeah. Right. It'd be good to let them know that, hey, we've, you know, incorporated that and here's our shiny new thing. Yeah. Who can... I don't know if they've kept up or... Who can uh, reach out to them? Shri? Are you going to get that? Shri an action item? Yeah, just give Shri the action item. I, I mean, it was it was Christy on the gnome side, I think, but Shri knows everybody in the team of them. Yeah, I can poke Alice on Unless, the gnome side as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Shri and Neo, and you two can coordinate so you're not duplicating work or whatever. Who else should be let now? Do we do we want to write a blog post again? Publish that. Follow up. Blog uh, did we change enough to justifying a blog post? I don't think that 
I don't think the question is have we changed enough. I think the question is who do we want to know and how do we reach them? Yeah. Because even if very little has changed, we can still make an announcement. I, I do want to write a short chaos blog post, just a couple sentences. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I think for sure on the chaos blog, it's worth just that it's, it's an announcement, right? You treat it like a yeah. Twitter almost. Um, I do think the question of whether we've changed enough, whether there's new stuff enough, uh, comes up in like publishing something on opensource.com. We did an opensource.com article the first time around. Yeah, if we're it. just talking about I the chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. makes a lot of sense. Sorry, yeah, I yeah. didn't realize we we're just talking about post the cows blog post. So yeah, it makes total sense then to share it there. No, I, I you, you're right. My question was: Should we go beyond chaos and yeah. advertise this more broadly? But we, we did do event organizer with opensource.com before, right? So they're probably not going to publish a uh, blog post about a minor revision. I, definitely, we should go back to opensource.com with our next set of metrics again, you know, but we'll yeah. get on the radar for this. What we published, though, was how do we develop success metrics? We didn't publish the actual metrics. Really? Oh, well, now I need to go look at what we published. Here, I have the Great. link to put in the chat. Interesting. Okay. So yeah. So we had published our event organizer stuff and we gave a link to a markdown file in GitHub. But it was, yeah, the bulk of this post is really about how we did it. It's just like the, the actual metric stuff for event organizers is a, an oh, by the way, towards the end. Huh. Yeah. So I, I think given this past blog post, we can now write a new blog post saying, hey, as an update, we have gone through this revision and here is what we now have and then write yeah. it Yeah. No, yeah, I, do, I think we totally can. So we need to write something. If we're writing for opensource.com, uh, you know, we can link to this slide deck as, as a full thing, but we do need to actually, the post can't just be here's the slide deck go read it it'll have to like summarize and expand on some of the stuff within it but um yeah okay no we can totally do open source.com i didn't realize okay yeah we could like uh offer a description of the goals and then try to you know in words like in actual text try to describe the metrics and things like that and then attach the presentation as an extra i guess and that could work. Does anyone want to volunteer for drafting that blog post? Yeah, I'll do that. I'd like to, I'm going to try to get feedback from the group though without waiting four weeks. So take it to chat or something, I suppose. I'm happy to provide feedback as soon as you share it on the element. It would be great if we can go through revisions asynchronously and publish it before our next meeting. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much for all of your engagement and participation. I think we can put a close on this. And I'll see you next month. Enjoy I'll Halloween. I'll see you in two weeks. I'll see you in two weeks, yes. Yeah. You're all in. Have fun at the event, people. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye, everyone.